Alrighty, you two. Got another one. I didn't see any. Do one more. Hello, you just towed my husband's truck out of Country Inn and Suites. Uh, yes, uh, yes, ma'am. It was actually parked there in the in one of the numbered spots on the side. Yes, ma'am. Oh, there was no parking spots at our hotel last night, so we. We didn't even know it was church parking. We thought it was hotel parking. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, when the when folks start coming into work, then they'll, we get dispatched over to remove those cars that are. Well, up there. can you bring it back, please? Because we don't want money to pay for a tow bill. Um, I'm close by. Um, and uh, if I mean, we don't have that. I'm sorry. Uh, that's that's our that's our fees for the illegal park stuff. Um, and you have to be the registered well, owner. Well, the hotel didn't tell us that wasn't a parking spot. Uh, you might you might go take that up with the hotel. I'm sorry. Uh, it was you. Yeah, you were just in one of the numbered spots in front of the sign. That they they called us to come and tow it away. Fucking dollars. Well, can you bring it back? I mean, I guess. I mean, I'm gonna have to make it work. I don't know. We're gonna get fucking home, but it's all right. I'm not. I'm not trying to take it out on you. No, it's okay. Um, we'll uh. Yeah, let me get turned around here and we'll be back. But like I said, it's you have to be the registered owner. ID has to match the registration of the truck. Yeah, that's my husband. He's out here. Okay. All right. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks. Bye. All right. Normally I don't come back, but we were about halfway back to the shop. So we're going to see if we can save this gal some money, I guess. ride and drop these. Where they are. Alright, we'll see if we can figure out where they're at first here and go from there. How are you buddy? All good. I would imagine. Parking Sorry. Still never told us anything about overflow parking. We got in at 11 last night so we didn't see the signs. Yeah, they called. It actually came in at like 1.30 last That's night when they. Uh, no, no, the, those are private spots over there. When the when people come into work, they rent those spots out when they go to work. So when they come into work and they don't have a place to park, then they'll call for us to come. I'm sorry, we just uh, yeah, we're just here doing our thing. But uh, yeah, any of those numbered spots are a definite no. That the hotel should have told you the over the overflows. Yeah, the hotel's horrible on that stuff. But um, they're supposed to be watching the camera. Yeah. Are you going to go get your wallet? Like I have an ID. Job? Yeah, as long as your ID matches the registration in the car there. I just need to make sure I'm giving it back to the rightful owner. <laughs> Everything auto. <laughs> Jesus, this Jan? It is, yes. This is Arnold Pew. What's happening, neighbor? Oh, uh, not very much. Very little. Uh, you about got me scared to death to come to Pigeon Forge. I'm afraid I'll park in the wrong spot. Well, don't. That, that's where I'm at right now is over here uh, in Gatlinburg uh, with some unhappy customers. Uh, have you got a second or are you real busy? Um, yeah, I think I I've got, got a second. I just got one quick question. Sure, sure. Uh, we're going to Blue Green Mountain Lofts. Have you ever been there? you know anything about it? The Mountain Lofts, yes, we've got, we're actually contracted with them to do towaways as well. They've just built those. Um, we, uh, we're over there about every evening. <laughs> is, is it blue green? Yeah, they're very nice. They, I, they're still kind of building a few of them right now, but most of them are, are up and going. They're, they're very nice. Okay, a girl from Bedford owns it. What should we find out before we leave here so we don't go to the wrong spot? Um, as long as you've got your, your rental stuff, you're fine. It's just the folks that are not staying there. 
Um, well, they, they record, they'll record your plate number and put you down on a list, so you'll know. Uh, okay. They'll know you're supposed to be there. We're actually written from an owner. Uh huh. Uh, I, I could have told you yesterday. I can't tell you today. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Yeah. Uh, I, I was just curious of what you knew about it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, super cool. We're going to head down that way. I doubt that we'll... Sherry's wanting to go to the mountains. You know how that is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're floating out and about, then we can get together. Just let me know. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what all's going to happen. It's Sherry's birthday on Monday, and we're just going to stay down there Monday night, Tuesday night. Then we're going to come back home. Sounds good, good. man. Yeah, we'll right. tell uh, yeah. tell her happy birthday, and it was good talking to you. All right. It's always good watching you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. It's good to, it's good to see y'all anyway. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It's been forever, man. All right, y'all be safe because you're crazy people out there, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Thank All right. you, man. Bye. All right, bye. Bye. -bye. trying to find a vehicle trying to find a vehicle um, what, what you hunting for yeah uh, it's a 2015 Ford F-150 silver um, Kentucky National Guard license plate uh, yes sir it's parked in um, the candy kitchen parking lot they called us to remove that vehicle yes sir okay what do I need to do to get it back um, as long as you're the registered owner, ID matches the registration, we can release that vehicle to you. Okay. Um, all right, and where are you located? In Sevierville. Yeah, yeah okay. we're about 20 uh, minutes from the location hang, there. Hang, hang on just a minute. Sure. Is this a cell phone number? I can text that address to the cell phone if you don't have something to write with. Yes, that is, uh, this is a cell phone number. Um, I guess another thing you can help me with is there, uh, I don't have a way to get there. We're from out of town, obviously, and um, is, is there, I don't know, do you have any idea how I can get there to get it? Um, we use Benz, B-E-N-Z, Taxi, Benz Taxi. Uh, they're over in Gatlinburg, and um, they help us out a lot with the, uh, with uh, customers, um, there's Lyft and Uber. If you have the app on your phone, um, uh, yeah. Angels, Taxi. There's, there's a few. Do you have taxes. any idea? Yeah. Do you have any idea what it costs to go from uh, Gatlinburg to Barrington uh, I do not. I'm sorry. I, I've um, you, there'd be something you'd have to contact one of the local tow companies for there or the uh, uh, cab companies for. Okay. All right, so you're going to text me the uh, phone or the uh, address? Yeah, the pickup address. I can text that to this number that you're going to 5143. Is that a good contact? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll text that a pickup address. Uh, and how, how late are you open? Uh, as long as I know you're coming, um, just give me kind of uh, a 30-minute heads up, and, and you, you can pick it up this evening if you still if you need it this evening. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to do that if I can. Uh, just depends on finding a way to get there. Gotcha. It, yeah, once uh, you secure, once you secure that ride, just give me a shoot me a text back and say, "Hey, I'm on my way." That way, you know, we, we know that you're coming and we can let you through the gate. Um, we're in and out with the tow trucks is the only reason. You know, we ask that for after hours. Sure. All right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Bye bye.
Fancy Cab. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. Sorry for the situation. Well, you know, I obviously parked in. Yeah, the, the wrong spot. Candy so. Kitchen called and said they didn't recognize your car. And, uh, well, it, you know, there was a just an arrow that said parking. Yeah. So I pulled in there and, uh, I don't know. I think what to say at this point is just <laughs> it's get my truck it's back, just, right? Just trying to get get back to normal. <laughs> yeah. Let me. Uh, I've got cash inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're no, you're good. Yeah. It's okay. uh, <laughs> how, how do you all tow it if it's in park? Uh, we've got uh, so the so the lift comes up front and it picks up the front wheels and then uh, we've got see these little wheels on the back of the tow truck right there. Yeah. Those go under the back and it picks it straight up too. So we don't ever have to touch anything you. other than your tires. It just picks it straight up. Cool. It's, uh, yeah, a lot of companies have uh, rollbacks and they drag and no, we we spent the extra money on the equipment so we just pick it straight up. We don't have to. Believe it or not, I've never had to have a car towed. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry we had to be. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry we had to meet this way, and I well, hope the uh, you know, Gatlinburg's situations are. We haven't been to Gatlinburg in 20 years. A lot. So we got a tundra truck. So Gatlinburg was crazy. Uh, it took us about an hour and a half just to get to the location uh, where these trucks were illegally parked. Hey, I need your brother right now. 
Yeah, brother, if you're in Gatlinburg and you're not paying to park, you're doing something bad. First time in Gatlinburg. Yeah. I was born here, Nashville, Tennessee, moved down where I was still. Yep, it's, uh, it's a parking lot disaster over here. Yeah, unfortunately, we found uh, the guy that, the guy led us here. He needs you. He needs you with $200 cash in order to drop this. I'll give you 50 bucks. Right. I'll be leaving with your car for 50 bucks. I'm sorry, you, there's six or seven signs right up front that you guys parked right next to. Private lot, brother. 200 bucks? I, if I you got knew, four fucking kids. I, I'm nothing personal, brother, I'm sorry. I, I don't have I cash on me, I need to go to ATM. Uh, if you can do so in a timely manner, I can't wait, we've got calls back You have there. cash on you? Wait, how much you got? I, don't I have, have no cash money. on me. Ray, do you have cash on you? I don't. Well, I mean, it's $200, so just give me a half hour, 20 minutes. Right, brother, I've got calls. I've got calls that are waiting on me. What do you want me to do? Sorry. We all have it. I'll stay here. I'll stay here. Do you have cash on you? I need cash. $200 cash. I need You got card? Can you take card? I can't take card for the illegal parks. I'm sorry. All right, give us a couple minutes to go to the ATM. Yeah, there's. I think there's some down on the parkway. And yeah, he'll go now. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, nothing personal. They did. They call us to do a job, so. I mean, I know it sucks, but hey, we had three other trucks on the way, so this is the best possible outcome. Is yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Everybody, everybody would be walking. <laughs> That's no fun for anybody. No big deal.
Okay, YouTube, we're on to some X-rated content. Now we might want to blur that out. But guys, we uh, we did get called over here to these uh, to this lot. Uh, there was four of them. I'm not sure it was a family or what, but they followed each other in. Security had contacted us to remove the vehicles. Um, they uh, they did see us and before we got away, so uh, we we had to charge accordingly. Like I said, it was about an hour and a half drive. We had to sit and idle in traffic. Gatlinburg is a complete packed disaster as far as traffic and parking right now um but uh we did get them out of there and um we appreciate you guys watching uh, hang tight we've got some more content on the way if you haven't subscribed please do so hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of our videos and um we'll catch you guys on the next one